What's up, Wild Bill? Good to hear from you, buddy. Um, so you were referring to the the mass workout that I sent out to my mailing list, and it was geared towards putting on size. And your question was, you want to lean up. Uh, you're a big guy, 6'7", 270 plus. Um, when we look at working out, okay, main things change uh, that are going to change when we're trying to train for muscle or fat loss. We're going to manipulate rest times. Okay, rest times will go down. Um, and you're going to look at nutrition. That's the big one. <clears throat> if I put you on a uh, powerlifting uh, type plan, but I cut your calories down to maintenance levels, meaning your basal metabolic rate, and a good way to find that out is take your body weight times 10. Um, not set in stone. You can use the Harris Benedict equation, which is a lot more complicated. Cool trick I use take your body weight times 10. Okay, so for you, let's say that's 27, 270 times 10, 2700 calories a day. If we put you there and then we put you on a program such as the mass program, but we take very little rest between sets because so you want an oxygen dead or peripheral heart action, you're pumping blood throughout the body, you're going to get lean, man. All right, so that's the way to change it. Also, on uh, if if you're doing just a purely uh, leaning up program, you were very, if you were you know, very overweight, I put you more on a whole body program as well. The mass program was geared a little bit more towards bodybuilding, so we put you on a whole body program. So upper, lower, upper, lower, upper, lower. Really, just pumping that blood head to toe, oxygen dead. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like that, you want. Um, if that's present, your metabolic rate is going to be raised 24 to 48 hours after the workout. Excess post-exercise oxygen debt. All right, so I hope that answers your question. Cut down those rest times. Throw in a few workouts where you're doing full body. And uh, hopefully we'll see a six-pack out of you soon. Thanks, Wild Bill.